do you think TikTok like drove actual like leads and signups to Notion or was it more like talent recruiting play to get in front of a younger audience? Like it's something I wrestle with myself. I see the crazy viral potential on TikTok, but I'm like, oh, should I do more doc stuff over there? Do people care about sales and marketing enterprise software on TikTok? Like how, how do you think about this? I mean, I think you can safely say that somebody is not going to buy a massive number of enterprise seats uh, in a piece of software because they happen to see a video on TikTok. Like, I don't think that that sort of direct tie necessarily exists. Maybe it's happened, but um, I don't think that that's necessarily the backing of that strategy. What it does do, I think, is lend itself to this bigger concept that we were like very dedicated to at Notion around ubiquity. And just can we make this thing as ubiquitous as humanly possible, where people feel like they are hearing about it from all sides. They saw a billboard, they saw it on Twitter, they heard about it from a friend. Like we wanted to like surround sound as much as we possibly could. And I think TikTok did that to such a degree that it ended up de-risking a lot of sort of these enterprise interactions where folks were like, oh, I've heard about that from so many people at this point that yes, I do feel comfortable entering into this size of deal just because like it's obviously so established and all, and so vibrant. Yeah. No, I mean like when your product just becomes part of like the cultural zeitgeist and it just makes it a lot e it makes everything a lot easier, right? It makes those sales conversations easier and like I mean that's so much of just marketing's job is just getting the product into like the consideration set when somebody's thinking about, you know, buying this this type of of, of software. Um, yeah. And it wasn't a rare occurrence for us to hear from folks who are, you know, C-suite or VP level executives that they heard about it from their kid or <laughs> that we had reached out to them. And then they happened to mention at the dinner table and their teenager was like, oh, my God, that's so cool. You have to work with them. And it's, it's amazing how some of those interactions still remain so human and are not just like cut and dry the way you might think that they are.